Hey guys, how's it going? So by now you've probably heard of the phrase gun buyback. Hmm, what is a gun buyback? Well, first of all, if it's a mandatory buyback, the whole thing becomes an oxymoron because unless I sold something to you, or in this case the government sold something to you, they can't buy it back because it was never theirs to begin with. Second of all, if a buyback or selling your property to the government or anyone else is mandated it's basically the same thing as confiscation because you can't force somebody to sell something under duress of a crime imprisonment fines etc that's not just a legit buyback or transaction like they like to make it sound and you've probably heard gun buyback from none other than the Biden-Harris official campaign website where they have a multi-page, dozens of pages in fact, massive gun control scheme, which they're promising that if they're elected or put in office otherwise, that they will put forth and do their best to try to get enacted. And I do believe them that they do indeed want to do this. And if you don't think that a buyback or forced confiscation would actually happen, I would remind you to look at Germany before World War II, in which they confiscated the citizens' guns and the horrific, unthinkable things that happened after that. And I would encourage you to look no further to the Soviet bloc countries and the extreme gun control and gun confiscation that happened there. And I would have you refer to China under the Mao regime and the gun confiscation and things that happened to the many citizens there. But then we can go to more modern times and look at Australia with their gun buyback confiscation. And even in way more recent times, Venezuela, which at one time had one of the highest per capita wealth in the world and it was a prospering country and citizens did have the right to keep and bear arms and they banned the individual ownership of firearms and confiscated and destroyed them just several years ago and look at Venezuela now. Last Friday I was doing a stream with my friend Tap Rock and Roll and it was a great stream. I suggest you guys go watch it if you have the time and she brought up what my opinions were on a buyback and the following is going to be a short excerpt of our conversation and I think it was a good conversation that you might enjoy. And by the way I stream every Friday night, 9.30 Eastern Time. Sometimes I'm by myself. Sometimes I'm with various friends. Great guests. And tap rock and roll. She's my friend. It's an awesome channel. Look, I wouldn't recommend her if she wasn't cool as heck. So trust me. I'm going to leave a link to her channel down in the description. Make sure you go check it out. And she does some really good stuff. And she's a really fun chick. So go over there and hang out. All right. Well, here's the excerpt from our stream that we did just a couple days ago. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and there's links down in the description to help the channel. But mainly just tell your friends because it's hard to get this message out on YouTube right now. And I appreciate all of you. So you think it would start with like a buyback? They would say a, like a voluntary buyback and then it'll go to like a mandatory. Like when do they come to your house and knock on the door and say, hey, give me your guns? Like, well, did that happen? Yes, it has happened. That Reich that was going to last a thousand years, it happened there. It's also happened in Venezuela in more recent times. It's mm -hmm. happened in Soviet bloc countries. Actually handed over their guns? Yeah, because, at a, well, all the people didn't necessarily, just like there's some select people in Australia that didn't hand them in. I know after New Zealand started doing their confiscation just within the last couple of years, there's still a lot of people, but for the most part, yeah, most people did just hand them in. What would you do? Hmm. Well, I, I like basically the old <laughs> saying, when they come for your guns, give them your bullets first. That's kind of my motto, to be honest with you. So I'll say, you can have them, but I'm going to give you all of my bullets first before the That's gun That's generous of you. You're so generous. I'm very generous. I figure they'll, they're going to need some ammo, right, for all those guns that they're taking. So... <laughs> America the free. Thanks for the super chat. It says, love you, man. I love you too. And I do like that. I always admire that herd that he has in that picture there. <laughs> but anyways, let's go back to what you said. It's kind of an oxymoron, right? And you're using their terminology. So I'm not calling you one, but 
buyback. It really doesn't exist. Right. Because if I sold you a gun and I said, hey, I want to buy it back, well, then that would be a buyback, right? Like, hey, I want to buy it back right. off you. I need the. Did you buy any of your guns from Biden or any of his people? No. So they can't buy sure it didn't. back. <laughs> yeah. So they can't buy it back. And that's how you know you're in trouble, if you ask me. When they started off with a saying that's just a lie right on its face, they're obviously just trying to deceive and put lipstick on a pig, right? Right. Because really, all these buybacks are is this. It's just confiscation, period, end of story. Because even if they do make you a payment for it, first of all, if you buy something from somebody, but it's not for sale, now you're stealing it, and they're not even paying you any money. They're paying you back with your own money. Because there is no government money. The only money they have is money that they stole from us and confiscated to begin with. So it starts off with taxation, which taxation is theft. And then they take the money they stole from you and steal something else from you and give you some money back that they stole from you in the first place. But then they're going to steal it from you again because they're going to tax you again. I'm like mad just hearing you. I know it's not you saying this, but I'm like mad just hearing you go through that whole scenario. And I just wonder how mad everybody else is. Like, I just wonder how everybody else is going to handle all this, you know? I hope people are mad. And I, I want this to be a cheerful night, and it is. But people should be very mad at that concept, and they should be very angry. Yeah. If I walked into any of your houses and said, all right, first I'm going to go into your wallet and take your $100 bills out. But hold on a minute. I'm going to do some shopping while I'm here. Now I'm going to buy your shotgun. Now I'm going to buy your AR-15. And then on my way out, I'm like, no, no, no. I've got the guns. Now give me your money so I can go to your neighbors and use that to buy theirs. And then rob them of their wallet on the way out too. I just can't imagine anybody that would think that they need to let go of their guns or not have their guns. It's just like just handing over your freedom. I don't, yeah. I, I don't think I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would urge nobody to do it. And I'm probably just preaching to the choir. But if, if anyone's watching this and you're kind of on the fence and you're like, well, hold on a minute. Am I wrong? Because we were always taught in life, like it's wrong to get angry. No, it's not wrong to get angry. You should be angry when someone does something bad to you. How you react to that. I always think there's better, more tactful ways to react to things, right? Like yeah. just because... Just because you might be a faster shot than me with a pistol doesn't mean I'm going to come through this camera and beat you up, right? I'm coming back. <laughs> Even though I, I, might, I might do that, but we, we, need, we need to pick our battles. But if they're literally coming to your home, taking your lawfully owned property from you, regardless of if they're writing you a check that they stole from you to begin with anyways, I don't know. To me, that's where the line would be drawn, period. I'm not selling yeah. them to anybody. This is yeah. where I'm at. And I'm sure there's probably people in the chat that are chatting. I mean, it's so good to see everybody that's out there, you know, at the rallies and everybody, everybody's so, you know, peaceful about it. Nobody, we're not hurting people and we're not destroying property. But then I also wonder, you know, right there, how everybody about... will rise up if they have to. Well, go ahead and read on Rockford's thing there. The only way to stop this mass non is mass non-compliance exactly what we just said one at a time they win everybody at once they can't stop us it won't be well i have to go to work today it's everybody at the capitol yeah i agree, I agree. completely i hope you enjoyed the video and for those of you that were in the stream with us on friday we had an awesome night it's hard to keep up with the chat but i went through and read all of it the day after and you guys are awesome. It's such a fun group. So I encourage you guys to join us on Fridays. You don't even really have to listen to me because just the people that hang out in the chat, they're literally the best group of people in the whole wide world. And I think you guys will really enjoy hanging out with them. And I appreciate you all. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one.